Welcome to Cyrus Redemption Center online service. Glory be to God. It is Sunday, August 11th, and I am so glad to be alive. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I praise God this morning for you. I praise God this morning for me. Hallelujah. Being able to understand and give him praise this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to his holy name. Blessed assurance. Blessed assurance. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Let's glorify his holy name. Jesus is Hallelujah. Aren't you glad to be in the house of the Lord today? Aren't you glad to be in the kingdom of God today? Hallelujah. Yes, he has. Hallelujah. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. I don't know what that means to you, but that is and that means everything to me. This is more than enough. So I trust in God. Hallelujah. My Savior, the one yes. Who will he will never fail he will never fail <laughs> I've been young and now I'm older and I've never seen the righteous forsaken even when it looked like he wasn't there for me I can see now that he has never left me hallelujah he will never fail Somebody said the other day, yesterday I was in a service, hallelujah, powerful anointed service. And somebody said, I, I, I don't look like what I've been through, hallelujah. When she told me that she was almost 50 years old and I was like, well, how old are you, 37, 30, 35? And she said, no, I'm almost 50. I just don't look like what I've been through. Hallelujah. And I declare I can say that same thing if I share my testimony with you. Hallelujah. Whenever the Lord reveals it to me and tells me to share, I will share. But let me tell you something, honey. I don't look like what I've been through. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I say, yeah. And I'm sure you don't either put your trust in God. He will never ever fail you. I love this song. I love this song. This is my go-to song right now. Hallelujah. You know, the, the, the God will give you a song to help you get through a certain season. Hallelujah. Starting a new ministry. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Trying to get the word out. Hallelujah. Sharing about the love of God. Hallelujah. It's not an easy task, but it's a task that I know that God has uh, opened up the doors, made every crooked path straight, and he's steady leading and guiding me and ordering my footsteps and how to fulfill the mission that he has given me. And so I praise God this morning just for who he is. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I sought the Lord and he heard and he answered. Seek the Lord while he yet may be found. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. That's why I trust him. That's why I trust him. I know that I can depend on him. Hallelujah. I sought the Lord. I sought the Lord. That's why I trust him. Listen, I have instructions from God today. Hallelujah. I don't know who it is. Ah, ha, ha. But God said he wants to heal diabetes today and, and other diseases and infirmities. So now listen, if you know you have an infirmity, if you know you have diabetes type 1, type 2, whatever it may be, God says that he wants to heal you. Glory be to God. Now, the question is, will you believe? That is the question. Hallelujah. You know, 
Healing is the children's bread. Yes, it is. Glory be to God. Are you a child of God? Hallelujah. Mm. Glory be to God. There's so many benefits when when it comes to being a child of God. Hallelujah. It's not just about uh, going to heaven, honey, of, of which you can't get to heaven unless you are a child of God. And the only way you can become a child of God is through Jesus Christ. Let me make that plain. Now, Buddha can't get you to heaven. Hallelujah. Muhammad can't get you to heaven. Hallelujah. They can get you down yonder, but they can't get you up there. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, I ask you, can you trust God today? Can you trust him this morning? Hallelujah. No matter what time you're listening to this, a uh, 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 message hallelujah can you trust God hallelujah God has a word for you today stay with me now stay with me now stay with me now anybody that you know that's dealing with an infirmity share this video with them tag them in the, in the name of Jesus hallelujah open up your eyes open up your ears that you may hear and receive from the Lord God. Hallelujah. God loves you. He loves you. My Savior, the one, He loves you. Yes, He does. He loves you, and He will never fail. I don't care what it might have looked like, He did not leave you. Ah, glory be to God. Praise His holy name. Praise His holy name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Well, like I say, I, I've got an instruction from God this morning, and um, I was getting ready uh, to bring forth the word, and he said to pray for healing for those who are struggling with diabetes. And so I don't know if you know anything about me, honey, but I'm going to be obedient to what God says. Hallelujah. See, the truth of the matter is he is the healer. He said in his word, I am the God that healeth thee. So stick with me. I want you to get this word. I want you to hear this word that God has uh, prepared for you. And then we are going to pray for healing today because that is the instruction from the God. God and that is what we're going to do, honey. Praise God. So the word of the Lord that, that God gave me, hallelujah, uh, I've entitled it, not by might, and it's actually coming from the scripture, not by might, not by power, but by the spirit says the Lord. Hallelujah. That is the word that God gave. That is the title that God gave. So hallelujah. So let's pray. Let's 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 pray. Glory be to God. And then let us just get into the word. Heavenly Father, I praise your holy name today. I thank you for your presence today. You said, God, that wherever two or more are gathered in your name, there you are in the midst. God, I trust and I believe that you gave me this word and I trust and believe that you will send this word to whoever and everyone who needs to hear it this morning, Father God. And so, God, I thank you that this word will not return unto you void, Father, but it will accomplish what you send it to do. And so, Father, I, I yield to you. Hallelujah. Have your way this morning. Have your way Hallelujah. In Cyrus Redemption Center. Hallelujah. Have your way in me, Father God. Move by your spirit today and do what you desire to do. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The, you know, the Bible tells us that all scripture, all scripture, not just uh, the one that you like or not just the one that's speaking to you today, but all scripture is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. All scripture. And so this morning, we are going to look at what should be 
a familiar passage of scripture to most of us. Hallelujah. Uh, this passage of scripture is a personal word for each of us today. Since all scripture is for our teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. This is a personal word for you today. Glory be to God. Originally, it was a message for Zerubbabel. Mm -hmm. But because the word of God is given to all of us and is in beneficial for our instruction or rebuke, hallelujah, then this verse of scripture is one that we can all personalize. Glory be to God. So this is a word for you. This is a word for me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when I when when we're talking today, when I'm talking today and I'm sharing the scripture, sharing the word, here's what I want you to do. I want you to put your name into that scripture. Hallelujah. And listen to what the Lord is saying to you and to me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Make it personal for you. So if you will, let's go to Zechariah chapter 4. And we are going to first focus on one verse. Zechariah chapter 4. Hallelujah. And we are going to focus in on uh, chapter verse 6 glory be to God then he answered it reads and spoke unto me saying this is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel saying not by might nor by power but by my spirit says the Lord of hosts. Now let's make that thing personal. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Where it says Zerubbabel, I want you to put your name in there. Hallelujah. Then he answered and spoke unto me saying, this is the word of the Lord unto Angeline. Saying, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit saith the Lord. This is the word of the Lord unto your name, saying, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. Hallelujah. And, and the message Bible says it like this. Glory be to God. This is God's message to Zerubbabel. You can't force things. Glory be to God. They only come through my spirit hallelujah you can't force things they only come through my spirit and then in the new living translation it says uh it is not by force nor by strength talking about our strength talking about your strength talking about my strength mm -mm. it's not by your strength it's not by your my strength it's not by my strength that god is healing today glory be to god hallelujah but my spirit but by my spirit says the lord of heaven's armies you know we live in an age hallelujah where we are, are bombarded with all kinds of messages, all kinds of uh, announcements, images, sounds, and words that flood our TVs, our radios, our computers. Hallelujah. And it's difficult to find some place where someone isn't trying to get your attention. You know, somebody's always trying to, or uh, something rather, is always trying to take you off focus. Glory be to God. But let me tell you something. God's word has not changed. God's word endures from generation to generation. I know the young people think, oh, we don't understand because we're older, that we don't understand what's really going on. Grandma, you know, you, you, oh, we, it, things are not like they used to be. And that in some ways that is true because the, my grandkids today are dealing with, with things that I never even thought I would deal with. Glory be to God. And they're dealing with things that I try to shield my uh, children from. 
and these babies are dealing with it wide openly today. So in some ways, what they're saying, it is true. Grandma, uh, things are not like they used to be. Uh huh. But one thing that is the same and stays the same is God's word. It never changes. His message is timeless. His The word of the Lord is not dated or obsolete as some have been told. Glory to God. God's word continues to speak to us personally today. It, 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 that's the only thing that I know. God is the only one that I know who can take one message and speak to a thousand people and say something different. Am I right about it? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So first Peter, listen to this. First Peter uh, chapter one, verses 24 and 25 says because all flesh is as grass and all the glory of man as the flower of the grass the grass withers and it and its flower fails falls away but the word of the lord endures forever now this is the word by which the gospel was preached to you it's talking about the gospel it's never changed the word of god has never changed god has no need to invent new ways of communicating his message to the hearts of men and women whether the word is written spoken or, or however it comes forth it Regardless, the word is illustrated with pictures or drama. God communicates his word the same way. Listen, I help people write books. I write books. And so uh, I, I noticed that uh, well, the books that God says to me, the ones that I accept, they are all rooted and grounded in the word of God. Hallelujah. They are all rooted and grounded in the word of God. And it never changed. One person might say, uh, uh, one thing about it or, or their experience about it but it is still rooted in the unadulterated word of god hallelujah god's word has endured the test of time why is that important to us because i want you to understand that you can trust god you can trust his word you can trust that his word is faithful trustworthy and true Mm -hmm. So I want you to hear the word of the Lord spoken to you today. Glory be to God. Listen, stop trying to do it on your own. Stop trying to do it on your own. The word of the Lord says, not by might, nor by power. You can't force these things. Glory be to God. You can't force it. It is only by my spirit. And I'm going to add that he only moves in his timing. Amen. Amen. Have you ever waited for God, waited on God for something, and it seemed like it was taking forever? Have you ever done that? Hallelujah. I know I have. I'm still waiting on some things right now. I'm waiting on, on a few things, as a matter of fact. But one thing I know and one thing that I'm assured of is that uh, when, he, when he told me, hallelujah, as I saw him, hallelujah, that I know that I can stand. If he spoke it, he is going to do it. I've learned that in this walk, in this journey. I've learned that I can trust him. Hallelujah. Might and power, hallelujah, refers to human strength. I try some things in my own strength. And can I tell you that I just mess things up? Glory be to God. I mess it up every time. But let me tell you something about our Father, our Father God. Hallelujah, who loves us beyond anything that we can imagine. Even when we messed up, even when I messed up, he came and he rescued me out of the mess that I created. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Listen, no amount of physical, mental, or moral strength will accomplish anything of eternal value. Listen, of eternal value. Only what you do for Christ will last. All that other stuff is going to get burned up. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. All your, all your goodness, huh? all your righteousness, uh, it means nothing. Hallelujah. It's going to get burned up, baby. And if you, when it gets burned up, when you stand before Christ and the Bema seat, 
only thing that's going to be standing there with you is the righteousness and the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. The righteousness of Christ and the blood of Jesus. So listen, how often do we find ourselves trying to do things for ourselves? You know, because uh, because again, God can take a minute. You know, he he's he's not rushed. Because one thing that 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 he shared with me is he's working behind the scenes to 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 to, to maneuver things and get things done. And you know, he's not dropping down out the sky, coming in, bringing this thing over here and this thing over there. No, he has to work to through people. And we some hard headed folks sometimes, okay? And even you know that you've been hard headed sometimes. And so. When he's maneuvering things and pulling things into place, some people don't want to do the right thing and don't want to yield to the voice of the Lord. Not everybody yields to the voice of the Lord at on, on, on his timing. And so he, he's, he's steady trying to work things out for you. So it might take a minute. We don't know what God is doing. Hallelujah. Remember, uh, uh, the prophet prayed for 21 days. He prayed, and then when the angel got there, he said, you know, the answer was given to me to bring to you the first day you prayed. But the the the, uh, the, the king of Persia, he, he blocked me. He fought me from bringing you your answer. So we don't know what is going on behind the scenes. The angel of God might be fighting, might have your, your, your blessing in hand, have the answer in hand. But he's got to fight some demonic forces, hallelujah, to get it to you. Now, 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 I, I, God, why is that important? That's important because, see, sometimes we make things hard for, for the angel and for us because we open up some doors, hallelujah. We open up some portals. We open up some doors, hallelujah, that release resistance against the answer are you releasing resistance against the answer are you con consistently speaking the problem instead of the promise are you can get you 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 pray you get down on your knees lay before the lord fast hallelujah and pray mm. and when you get up you speak against everything that you spoke to the Lord and you speak against everything that the Lord spoke to you. Glory be to God. Do you realize that when you do this, you are creating resistance for your answer? How is it that sometimes when you pray for something, it manifests immediately? Glory be to God. It manifests the same day within the same hour. And then sometimes when you uh, pray, and you ask God for something, it takes a while, a long while. Some of us have been waiting on th certain things for years. And I'm, I, you hear me say us, because I include Pastor Angeline in that glory be to God. Hallelujah. Without the Lord, without the, his, his, his spirit, nothing is happening. Glory be to God. So the, the Bible reminds us over and over and over to stop doing it on your own. Stop trying to handle these problems on your own, God is saying to you today. Because honestly, there's nothing that you can do about it other than believe what he said. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Listen to Psalms 33, uh, 16 through 18. Psalms 33, 16 through 18. It says, no king is saved by the multitude of an army. A mighty man, is delivered is not delivered by great strength a mighty man is not delivered by great strength a horse is a vain hope for safety neither shall it deliver any by its great strength behold verse 18 says the eye of the lord is on those who fear him on those who hurt hope in his mercy that is where our hope and our faith should be not in our strength and there's nothing wrong because yeah we, we we can do some things we have some talents hallelujah we can do some things to help things along but if you're doing it without the help of the lord or without his instruction 
you're wasting your time. Uh, 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 degrees can't heal you. Doctors can't even heal themselves. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Medicine can't heal you. It's the Lord working behind it. The body was created to heal itself. Did you, you remember that? You learned that in uh, biology in school. The body, the way God created it, he's so wise. He created our body. If I cut my hand, glory be to God, and I keep, I keep it clean, keep the area clean, it will heal itself without any uh, uh, assistance from me. Glory be to God. Same goes with anything inside of your body. Glory be to God. So listen, in November, mm -hmm, in a, here in America, we will be having our presidential election. I've never seen nothing like this in, in all my days. Hallelujah. Since I was old enough to pay attention. Glory be to God. So many people are putting their trust in one man or as of late, one woman. We living in some dark times here in America mm -hmm. in America and even across the world everyone is looking for change and many think this man or this woman will bring about the change that we need and I'm reminded when I think about that of a time before Jesus came how it was really dark and evil in the area in the in the in the world and the government was corrupt I'm going to leave that right there. The government was corrupt and the people of God really needed change. Hallelujah. But they were expecting the Messiah to come as king and to bring about this massive change that was needed and to save them. In their minds, they were not thinking of what the kingdom of God is really like. They weren't concerned about what God hallelujah, who was going to send this Messiah, glory be to God, was desiring and what he wanted. They were not remembering how the, the spirit of Moses and the end, the, the spirit of Moses, the spirit delivered, let me make that plain, the spirit delivered Moses and the Israelites out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. The spirit of God, hallelujah, is who did, made the deliverance possible. They were not remembering how the the Holy the Spirit delivered Joshua and the Israelites, hallelujah, and brought about change and victory. They didn't think about this stuff. All of this stuff was written for their benefit so that they can keep their eyes focused on who was really in charge. Glory be to God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Instead, they were thinking physically. They were expecting Jesus to come as a political king. They thought Jesus was going to come, baby, and get rid of all the other kings and set everything in motion mm -hmm. for their benefit. And this was the only way that change would come. That's all they could see. Glory be to God. That's a big reason why many people actually miss Jesus back then and miss him today. Because they're looking for him to come in a certain way. Hallelujah. Can I tell you? That God is 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 about souls. He's about souls, and he's about building uh, building up his kingdom. Mm. It's not about America. Glory be to God. America has a purpose. Yes, it does. We're here. I'm grateful to be living in and born in America. I could have been born over there in somewhere in the middle of some un foreign country who don't even worship God. You know, but God saw fit to bring me here. In this day and time, he saw fit to bring you here in this day and time too. Uh huh, uh huh. And and so they knew the word of God very well. They had it in their minds that this is the only way to bring God's way to the earth. Even though they knew the word, even though they had been taught the word all through the years, mm -hmm. they had heard about the miracles. They had heard about all of these things that God was gonna do. And not one time in what they heard did he set up a king to build things for him. It was all done by his spirit, not by might, not by power, but by the spirit, says the Lord. Uh, splitting a, a Red Sea and holding it open for millions of people to walk through 
not just walk through, but walk through on dry land. It takes the spirit of God to do that. And then when the very last person that God set free walks through, glory be to God, and gets on the other side, hallelujah, then the water closed back up and drowned the enemy. Hallelujah. Oh, Mary, don't you weep. Oh, Mary, don't you weep. Oh, Mary, don't you be concerned because Pharaoh and his army drowned in the Red Sea. That was the spirit of God. Hallelujah. No man did that for them. Glory be to God. But see, they were forgetting about that. Glory be to God. They were looking for Jesus to come as some political servant for them. Glory be to God. And God had another plan in mind. Hear what I'm telling you. Glory be to God. So here he is, the opposite of a political leader. Uh huh. He came as a lowly servant, not of someone of high ranking. Mm -hmm. He didn't come as a rich from a rich political family. Glory be to God. He was a carpenter's son. And he came from Nazareth, a place where they said no good thing came out of. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was the opposite of what they were expecting. But this man, hallelujah, came as a man. Yes, he was God, but he came as a man and he changed the whole world. Can I tell you that the same anointing, glory be to God, that was, is in Christ Jesus, that is Christ Jesus, it lives in you if you belong to Jesus. If you have said, Lord, I make you Lord of my life. Hallelujah. Forgive me of my sins. Glory be to God. And come and help me live and do the things that you want me to do. You have the same anointing. Glory be to God. Little old you can change the world. You might got to be able to change the whole entire world, glory be to God, but you can definitely change the world around you. You can change the world in your community if you just get up and stand up and be obedient to the voice of God. You don't even have to get up. You can hit your knees, glory be to God, and you can change the, the, the community around you. You if, if, if you're, if, listen, mm, the power of prayer is so strong. Is so strong, Hallelujah! Because listen, you 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 bringing God in. God said this morning as I was pulling this message together, He's going to heal. His His healing balm is here today, Hallelujah! So before we close out, we're going to pray. If, if if you know somebody that need healing, tag them in this message. If you know some, if you need healing, stay. Don't leave. Glory be to God. Whatever it is that you need today, God wants to heal emotions. You know he heals emotions too. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But God said, I'm going to heal today. He spoke diabetes, but he's in, in, in every disease and infirmity, he's ready to heal today. Hallelujah. You know, uh, so 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 stick, stick with the message. Stick with the message. God has a word for you. But listen, we need God's message to the people of Israel reminds us of one thing. We need to rely on his spirit. Glory be to God. We need to pray. We need to trust him and offer what little we have. Whatever's in your hand, glory be to God. He told the widow woman, what, 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 what's in it? She said, I just got a little bit of meal. I just got to add, and we gonna, I'm going to make a cake and me and my son are going to die. And then God said, give it to me. Now, listen, you might have heard that message because somebody was asking for money. I'm not asking you for a dime. What I want you to understand is God said, whatever's in your hand, give it back to me and let me use it for your benefit. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Whatever is in your hand, whatever you have, give it back to me and let me increase it and use it for the kingdom. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So Proverbs, listen to this. Proverbs 3, 5 and 7. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. See, this is something that people seem to forget. And I, I you know, I, I, I don't have a, uh, I don't know everything about God, but I know he don't bless mess. Okay. He don't bless mess. And so some people are, 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 are 
uh, uh, you know, they think they can fool God. Oh my goodness. Some people think that they can fool God um, and say, okay, God, if you get me out of this mess, I'll do whatever you want me to do. And they know good will that they don't mean it when they're saying it. God knows that they don't mean it when they're saying it. But he's, you know, but sometimes he'll, he'll, he's God. He can do whatever he want to do. Sometimes he'll do it and, and, and hope that you'll do the right thing or, or whatever. I don't know, but I'm not God. But what I do know is that when you are faithful to him, he's faithful to you. I do know that. Hallelujah. So, so it's a, a Proverbs 3, 5 and 7 in the message Bible says, trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try to figure it out on your own. Some people, when God give them a word, hallelujah, they figure they got to go to this person and pray, seek this person's advice and seek and do and do and do. And, and they never get around to doing what God has asked them to do. That's one of the reasons why it takes so long for sometimes the answer to come because you're not doing what God originally spoke to you. Some, 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 somebody listening might need to go back to the very beginning of what God spoke and said. Can I share with you? Um, and I, whenever he releases me, I, I share it. But I am a, a breast cancer survivor. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. And, and, and this was even after my daughter left and went home to be with the Lord with breast cancer. So it was, it was just a couple of years after. And so can I tell you that me walking through this after watching my daughter was a hard pill to swallow and God knew it and I don't know why he, he he allowed me to go through that that situation because it was not it was not hereditary glory be to God had that test and it was not hereditary neither was my daughter's glory be to God it's just something that happened you know the devil he he's at work trying to get rid of all of us but glory be to God he hallelujah Mercy said no. So anyway, so one one night I'm, um, I'm I'm waking out of my sleep with this thing, hallelujah, chopping at, at 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 me, and I get up and I go to the bathroom and I'm like, God, what's wrong? What's going on in my breast? Hallelujah, what is this? You know, and I heard him say, you know, a lot of people say God don't speak to you, but let me tell you something. He's speaking to you all day long. You just don't listen. Hallelujah. But he spoke to me right there and he said, you have sown healing and you will reap healing. You have sown prayer and you will reap prayer. You have sown support and you will reap support. And so I, 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 you know, I ask you, God, what is this? And, and this is what you say. And so what do you mean by that? Are you trying to say that I have cancer? And he said it again. You sown healing and you're gonna reap healing. You sown prayer and you're gonna reap prayer. You sown support and you're gonna reap support. And so when he said it the second time, I knew. And then I'm so what am I supposed to do? Go to the doctor. And when I got to the doctor, what she told me was that the Lord was with me because normally there are no signs for the type of cancer that I had. No signs. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And said that she said, she said, the doctor said, hallelujah, that God was with me and he was letting me know that something was wrong, that he needed to take care of. This is what the doctor said. So see, some doctors do believe the word of God. Hallelujah. Some of them do. Let God lead you to one that does. He can, he can, he can, he can guide and lead and guide anybody's hand. Yes, it can. Because the heart of man is in his hands. But I'm going I want to go to a doctor that believes that, he, that God is a healer, that they are not the healer, that they are a worker for the Lord, just like I am. Glory be to God. So anyway, so uh, the, the outcome was everything that God spoke, I received. I received prayer. I received support. I received healing. Diagnosed in September, set free in November. Glory be to God. It wasn't a long, drawn-out process. Even when my daughter left, it wasn't a long, drawn-out process. Hallelujah. It was her time. God let me know. It was her time. So I had to deal with that. Glory be to God. But walking through that was a hard. It, it was hard. Let me just tell you. So God wants to help us. Mm -hmm. He has given us his spirit to empower and equip us for every good work. Not by might. Nor by power. But by my spirit. 
says the Lord. It was the spirit of the Lord that spoke to me in that bathroom. It was the spirit of the Lord that encouraged me and let me know that everything was going to be all right. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It was the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. That touched the hearts of others around me and had them there for my support. I mean, real support. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Nothing, nothing will be impossible with God as a helper. If God said it, that settles it. Trust in that. Don't keep speaking on the problem. Declare the promise and let the spirit of God move in your life. Jesus, mm, Jesus, the one who lives inside of you, hallelujah, said in Luke chapter four, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has a, anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He, the spirit of the Lord, has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim the liberty to, to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind. Talking about the spirit of the Lord. The spirit of the Lord is upon me to set at liberty those who are oppressed to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Glory be to God. The spirit of the Lord that lives inside of you. Hallelujah. Says not by might nor by power but by my spirit. Declares the Lord God Almighty. Now, how do we depend upon the Spirit? How do we let go and let God? How, you, how do you do that? I, I mean, you've got all this stuff coming against you. How do you let go and let God? Uh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. What do we need to do in order to put Zechariah uh, four and six into practice in our daily lives. Well, the first thing you're going to do, glory be to God, is submit to the spirit through prayer. It is by his spirit. It means we need to pray for the work that we're doing. We need to pray for what's going on in our life. It is not a good to do or something we should do. It is we must pray, glory be to God, as individuals and as a church. We must be committed to prayer you might not have thought of this but listen prayerlessness is pride period prayerlessness is pride hallelujah if we're not prayerful we think that we can do this thing on our own and it is pride okay it is pride i already told you your degrees ain't gonna can't heal you mm -mm. even a doctor is not able to heal you they can put a band-aid on something they can cut something out but it is God who does the healing. He says, I am the God who heals thee. Glory be to God. Yet he uses doctor. One of his disciples was a doctor. Okay. So he's not against that. I told you, my doctor believed the word of God. She heard from God. Hallelujah. And she followed his instructions. And I followed his instructions. Glory be to God. And it worked out for my benefit. Holly, had I gone home, I'd be cool with that too. Whatever you want to do, God, it's all right with me. Glory be to God. Where prayer is absent or reduced, the confidence and human strength increases. It makes you think, oh, I can do this. Mm -hmm. Let me do me. Let me do me. I got me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Let me know how that works out for you. Glory be to God. We might say we can do nothing without God's spirit, but if we aren't praying, we're only fooling ourselves. You got to pray. That's your first step. Pray. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15. For thus says the Lord of God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest, you shall be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. But you won't do that. Mm -mm. You won't keep doing it on your own. He's, he's telling them. He's saying, rest in me. Rest in me. Trust in me. Return to me. And in, in returning and rest, you shall be saved. Hallelujah. Where is the safest place in the whole wide world to be? It's in the will of God. It is in the safety of his arms. Psalm 91. Hallelujah. It is in the safety of his arms. I don't care what's going on. Some of us been dealing with stuff for a long, 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 long time. 
and 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 not saying you know you ain't doing the right thing or whatever but some are trying to deal it in their own strength they won't let go and let god how do you let go and let god let go god i rest in you hallelujah let go let it go let it go decree what god has said over your life i can't say that enough decree what god has said over your life your requires your your salvation requires you to turn back to me and stop your silly efforts to save yourself it says in the message bible your strength will come from settling down in complete dependence on me that's what he says your strength will come from settling down in complete dependence on me thy will be done jesus said let thy will be done god's will done in earth as it is in heaven god i'm in complete dependence on you god do what you want to do in my life god however you want to fix this thing however you want to do this thing speak to me if it's something that i need to do speak to me and give me instructions hallelujah like he spoke to me this morning just before I, we got started he gave me instructions to pray hallelujah for people who are dealing with diabetes and and other life-threatening diseases he said pray now see i didn't come up with that he did so i'm gonna pray and i'm gonna let him do what he do glory be to god hallelujah so so god we pray we need you we say we not by our might nor by our power god we lay our dependence down on you we lay ourselves aside and depend on you can you say that can you say god i need you god i say not by my might nor my power i lay my dependence down hallelujah because i know i have no strength apart from you i trust in you the songwriter said i sought the lord and he heard and he answered i sought the lord and he heard and he answered glory be to god hallelujah the second thing you want to do is submit through to the spirit through the bible study you have to study the bible honey you have to renew your mind you're gonna to have to renew all from re renew your mind from all these things that you didn't heard. You know, some folks told you that G that that God don't heal today. That 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 all went out with the disciples. That is a lie from the pits of hell. Okay, but somebody believed that lie. Glory be to God. And so you're gonna to have to get in the Bible and you're gonna to have to study. I know that sickness been hanging around for a long time and it's trying to discourage you and let you think that that God is withholding something, but He's not. He's not withholding it. He's not. Don't believe the lie of the enemy. And so we're going to have to get in the word of God for ourselves. And we're going to have to study the word of God. We're going to have to learn God's character. We're going to have to learn what God says. And we're going to have to hear those promises, get those promises on the deep inside of us. And, and, and let God do what he wants to do in our life. He said, not by power, not by strength, but by my peer, peer, uh, uh, spirit, says the Lord. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to let the spirit of God rise up. As Isaiah 60, arise, O God, and let thy enemies be scattered. What's the enemy of God? Hallelujah. Anything that wants to go against his word. Glory be to God. Paul said we ought to cast that thing down. Mm -hmm. that, those vain imaginations, those lies, cast them down. Hallelujah. And begin to speak the word of God into that situation. I'm a living witness to tell you that God's word is real. The commas, the periods, and all are real. Glory be to God. Numbers 23 and 19. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then don't act? Uh-uh. Does he promise and not fulfill? Uh-uh. No, he does not does he speak and then not act does he promise and not fulfill no he does not 
He is not a man that he should lie. Now, see, we make some promises. Uh, we have made plenty of promises to God, and we ain't kept those promises, not one iota. But God is not like us, and thank God I'm not God, and thank God that you're not God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Through the scriptures, God speaks with a clear voice. Get in the word. Through the scriptures, we learn to recognize the voice of God leading and directing our every step. Get in the word. Hallelujah. Don't just get it uh, uh, on, 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 online on Sunday through YouTube. YouTube. Get in the word. If you don't have a church home and you want to do Bible study, hallelujah, join our Bible study. We do Bible study on Zoom. And I mean, we break the word down. We do Bible studies on sun, uh, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Let me know if you want to join, and I'll send you the info. Glory be to God. But you're going to have to get in the Word, honey. Uh, uh, there's some things that, uh, that, that I'm learning, that I've learned, hallelujah, since I stepped out in obedience to the Lord. There is some folks that have been in church for 30, 40 years, and they do not know the Word of God. They done depending on everything that a man said instead of depending on the Word of God. Hallelujah. John 15. Uh, verses 4 through 7. Remain in me. This is Jesus talking. And I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit of itself. It must remain in the vine. You ever seen a fruit that fall off the tree and keep growing? Mm. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. Verse 5. I am the vine. You are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruits. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask, ask whatever you wish and it will be given to you can you believe that jesus said ask if you remain in me and my words remain in you ask whatever you wish and it will be given you can you believe that you you think Jesus is just talking out of his head? Do you think he's just saying something because it sounds good? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. He said, ask what you will and it will be given to you. But the, the key is, you're going to have to remain in me and my words going to have to remain in you. And see, every day, I, I started out and I told you that every day, some kind of message is trying to get our attention. Mm, mm, mm. Some kind of message is trying to take our focus off of remaining in him and his words remaining in us. Yeah, okay. So I ain't saying that you can't watch, the, watch TV. I ain't saying that you can't listen to music. I'm not saying that you can't do any of these things. But you, what I am saying is keep your focus in the right place. The enemy is going to always come just like he did in the garden uh huh, and, and try to convince you that God is not who he said he is. God will not do what he said he will do. God is trying to withhold something from you. And when he's already spoken it in his word, that he will withhold no good thing from you. Hallelujah. He said if a father knows how to give his son good things, how much more, hallelujah, how much more will God do for you? Jesus said, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask what you will and it will be given to you. That it will is, a, it, it is like uh, saying, okay, it's, it's done. It's done. But the key is, Remain in him and let his word remain in you. Stop. Don't don't keep speaking that problem, honey. Uh-uh. Speak the promise. Declare. Agree with God what he has spoken to you and over you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The Lord said, uh, 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 not by might nor by power, but my spirit. Mm -hmm. Submit to the spirit of God with living faith. 
submit to the spirit of God. He's not by power, not by might, but by my spirit. God did not say sit and do nothing and just watch me work. Mm -mm, no. Listen to what James said. Hallelujah. Concerning that. Chapter 2, James 2, 14 through 18. What good is it, my brothers, if a man claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save him? Mm -mm. Suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to him, go, I wish you well. I pray God bless you. Hallelujah. But does nothing about that man's physical needs. What good is it? Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, 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 and verse 17 in the same way faith by itself if it is not accompanied by action is dead but someone will say you have faith I have deeds show me your faith without deeds and I will show you my faith by what I do mm -hmm. remember remember the man that was at the uh, pool of Bethesda uh huh and, and so he was around and all these, all these, 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 these folks who believed Glory be to God, and 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 he he his excuse was well I can't get to the pool when the water is troubled I can't get there because nobody will help me. Now Jesus said, "Do you want to be healed? Do you want to be made whole?" And he came with all these excuses, and that's not what Jesus asked him. Jesus said, "Do you want to be saved? Do you want to be healed? Do you want to walk?" Glory be to God, and he came with the excuses, giving the excuses. So God is saying today, "Do you want to be healed?" Hallelujah. Do you, want, do you want to be whole? Do you want to be made whole? Lay down those vain imaginations. Lay down those, 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 those thoughts that go against what I've spoken over your life. Lay it down. Hallelujah. He said, remain in me and my words will remain in you. Ask what you will and it will be given. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The work can be done. Therefore, have faith in God. All things. All things. All, all, all don't leave out anything, does it? All things are possible to him who believes in God. Hallelujah. The work is not easy, but it is God's will. Hallelujah. Stop believing in lie that it is not God's will that you be blessed. Stop believing in lie that it is God's will that you have to go through all this struggle, 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 and you got to fight your way through everything. No. No. He whom the Lord sets free is truly free indeed. Glory be to God. Uh, it is God's will, and we are called to it. We are called to do it. In the Bible, we see that when God calls people to do his work, he rarely calls them to do something easy. Have you seen it? Glory be to God. He did not call Moses over to a burning bush and ask him if he could take care of a few more sheep. No, no, no. He had to face Pharaoh and bring God's people out of Egypt. He had to lead them. Can you imagine even talking to a million people. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I have asked God for a thousand souls just this year. Now, I, I, I ask. Hallelujah. I ask. Hallelujah. It's not my, I'm going to do what God leads me to do. But it's him who does the saving of the soul. Glory be to God. God asked Noah to build an ark. Something he had never seen or heard before. God said it's going to rain. Build this ark and pull these animals in. They had never even seen rain before. He definitely hadn't seen an ark. And half of those animals he had not even seen. Glory be to God. But he did it. God did it. He empowered him by his spirit. Glory be to God. He empowered Moses by his spirit. Glory be to God. Yeah, Moses came with some excuses. We all got some. But he gave somebody. He gave him some help. He gave him some destiny helpless to help him walk through that tremendous task. Hallelujah. Abraham mm -hmm, was to leave home and move to a place God was showing. My God, every time I think about what God called Abraham to do, I think about me. When I moved with three small children to Atlanta, glory be to God. I didn't know what God had in mind. I didn't. But... And, and, and I can't even tell you that I trusted him all the way because I didn't. But God is faithful to his word. And he does exactly what he says he's going to do. Even when we're a little hard-headed, you know, the, the Israelites, there was a stiff, God called them a stiff-necked people. Glory be to God. 
Some of us are stiff necked. Come on, loosen it up a little bit, baby. Loosen it up. God, loosen me up so that I can receive your word and hear your word. The will of God will never lead you where grace cannot keep you. Mm. Did you hear that? The will of God will never lead you where grace cannot keep you. When he calls you to do a task, he, when he calls you to, do, to, to give you a specific instruction, whatever it be, do it. That's what Mary told the people at the wedding. Whatever he says to you, do it. Do it. What do you have to lose other than that thing that's trying to keep you bound? What do you have to lose? Just do it. You ain't got to understand it. You ain't got, you hear me using the word ain't. You ain't got to speak good language. You ain't got to do all those things to do what thus says the Lord. God knew who you were from the beginning of the earth, from before the beginning of the earth, before you even got in your mother's womb. He knew how you were going to talk. He knew what you were going to do. He knew that you might say every now and then go to the left instead of going to the right or moving straight forward. He knew all of that. Yet he still called you. Get back up. Get back up. Get back up and trust him and recognize that it is not by power or by might, but it is by the Spirit of God. Remain in him. Let his words remain in you and let God do what he needs to do in your life do you realize that somebody somebody you love is depending on you doing the right thing doing you do depending on you walking the will of god somebody you love is dependent on your obedience amen some of us got some stuff going on in our lives some people in our lives that's just done you know we, 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 we calling out we calling out their name to God give them over to God let God do what he going to do glory be he going to do it hallelujah he declared in his word the seed of the righteous shall be delivered hallelujah you declare it you declare it you agree with him and declare it out of your mouth every time the enemy tries to show you what they're doing don't you dare give up on your children don't you dare Give up on your loved ones. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Okay. So when he calls us to move, he'll show us the way. In the beginning of the year, when God called me to step out and, and, and start this uh, ministry, hallelujah, which he had been talking to me for the longest. I kept being a Moses and giving up all these excuses, but he gave me three words, freedom, move, and harvest. And I promise you that if you go back and you listen to the message, there have been messages that set us free from, the, from, from mindsets that have held us captive for so long and preventing us from moving forward in the things of God. Whatever God calls you to do, it is something that can be done. He ain't gonna call you, he ain't gonna tell you to do nothing if you know if he knows you can't do it. Come on now. If he can't do it, why would he tell you to do it? Glory be to God. Because it's not by power. It's not by might. It's by his spirit. Hallelujah. That is done. If if it's God's plan, no one can throw this will. Remember that. If God said it, nobody can change it. Nobody can switch it around. Hallelujah. So that's why it's important for you to stay connected to the vine. That's why it's important for you to stay focused on, the, on, 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 on Christ. Hallelujah. And, and move when he say move. Don't move when you want to move. Move when he say move. Sometimes we get ahead of God and we move and we're doing things that we're He's not even a part of. He, he said, wait a minute, come back here. Hold on. I didn't tell you to go for just yet. Hold on. Hold on. I, 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 and things are not in place for you. I have not made every crooked path straight. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I have not touched the heart of those who, are, who, 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 who have uh, uh, yet to help you. Hold on. Hold on just a little while longer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are called to be faithful in doing what God has called us to do. You may feel you ain't adequate. You're not. In, in, in the natural, you are. 
But in the spiritual realm, you're not because it's not you who's doing the work. It's not you who's doing the, it, it's not in your natural strength. It's not in your natural power. It is in the spirit of God that's doing the work. So yeah, in the natural, you are adequate, but it's not you. And once you recognize that it ain't you, you can go forth and do what God has called you to do. Hallelujah. It is by my spirit, the Lord says, that the work will be done. God is speaking to personally to you today, to me, to you. Trust me, he says. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me, God says. Have faith and persevere. Have faith in God and persevere. Do not give up so easily. Somebody must be at the point of saying, God, I can't take this no more. I just can't do it. And God is saying, hold on just a little while longer. I got this. Hold on just a little while longer. Hallelujah. I know my preaching is a little different from some of that you done heard. Hallelujah. I say what I hear. Glory be to God. God will do his part. Be willing to do your part. If, uh, uh, if you're listening to me today, hallelujah. And you don't know the Lord. And you don't know the Lord. Today is a good day to get to know Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Today is a good day to get to know Jesus. If you're not a Christian, I want you to know that the same power that has been changing lives for the past 2,000 years is available to you and is ready to change yours. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God changes our sinful life. He changed mine and gives us an abundant life. Hallelujah. One filled with meaning and purpose. Now, I'm not telling you you're going to get a mansion. Mm -mm. That's not what I'm telling you. You're not gonna. I ain't saying you're gonna get a mansion up in Buckhead, but if that's what is required for you, then you can have that. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But first, get the word down in your belly so that you can learn how to walk in victory. Glory be to God. You, if you need to repent of your sin and accept Jesus, this is a good day to do it. Glory be to God. It's so simple. It's so simple. Lord, I repent. Lord, forgive me for my sins. Lord, come into my life and be my Lord. Hallelujah. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. And if you can you can uh, uh, say that and confess it with your mouth, you will be saved. It's true for me and it can be true for you today. It's not a hard process. Glory be to God. Take a moment and spend some time in prayer on your own. Hallelujah. Ask Jesus to come into your life. Be your Lord and Savior. Pray in God and ask God to use you to touch the lives of others. Now, as I told you, hallelujah, in the beginning, God gave me an instruction to pray. Glory be to God over sickness. He said specifically diabetes. Glory be to God. So, hallelujah. After you pray and you ask the Lord and you repent, after you've repented, come on, let's pray. Hallelujah. Just fix your eyes on Jesus. The Lord is able to heal you and your loved ones of all sicknesses, disease, pain, infirmity, and affliction. I told you how he healed me of breast cancer. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so if he healed me, and I know he's no respecter of person, he can heal you. Glory be to God. Whatever your sickness or disease is, let's take it to the Lord in prayer and believe for your healing. It might come for some of you immediately, and some of you it might take a minute. You might receive some further instructions, but God can heal. He does heal today. Glory be to God. So. Come on, let's pray. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your healing balm today. We thank you for every person that is standing in agreement with your word and in agreement with what you have told me to speak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I stand in agreement with you. In the name of Jesus, I command all sales in our bodies to line up electrical cells magnetic cells chemical line up perfectly 
to the perfect DNA and RNA that God created. I curse at the root any and all diseases and infirmity in your body. I command all the bad cells to be discarded. In Jesus' name, come out of this child of God right now in the name of Jesus. This is not your home. This is the temple of God. Get out. You are evicted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Father, I thank you right now, Father, that we receive total healing from the spirit of diabetes and every other infirmity. You demon of diabetes, I, we are not your candidate. Get out and release the healing now. The healing be released from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Every infirmity that has been fighting against the health of God's child be flushed out in the name of Jesus. Healing is our inheritance as children of God. It is the children's bread and we receive it now. I declare and decree Diabetes and no other disease or infirmity cannot deprive us of our divine health. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Every tiredness, every uh, 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 mm, every, everything that has been fighting against the health of this child of God, be removed. Be ye cancel your assignment is canceled in the name of jesus father we thank you that healing flows through our blood healing flows through our bones healing flows through our bone marrow healing flows through our brain from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet we thank you that every muscle every ligament every cell every bone is being restored and renewed we thank you for new pancreases right now in the name of jesus we thank you father that our pancreas will come create insulin as it is supposed to in jesus mighty name we come against every side effect of all the medicines that have been prescribed we thank you father that all side effects are being removed now in jesus mighty name and god we thank you that every arrow of slow death fired at our body is destroyed and it is in jesus mighty name father your word has declared in psalms 91 and 16 with long life will i satisfy him and show him my salvation father we thank you for your salvation we thank you for long life we thank you for healing right now in jesus mighty name hallelujah hallelujah now child of god now glory uh, receive what thus says the lord receive your healing that's all i have for you glory be to god hallelujah May, may, may our God bless us with grace, mercy, and peace. And may we always find more room around God's feet where there is complete rest from the cares of this world. Hallelujah. May God watch over us while we are absent from one another. Father, send us your grace and your peace. Hallelujah. I believe it. I receive it. God's grace, God's mercy and peace, I receive it. The heavy load, I declare, will not serve you along this narrow way. You are blessed going in and blessed coming out. Now, go forth in peace in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you. Join me next week, same time, same place. Glory be to God. 10 a.m. Sunday morning. If you want to join the Bible study on Tuesdays at 7 p.m., just let me know and I will send you the information. Hallelujah. We are in the book of Daniel right now. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And we are learning a lot. You might know, you might have heard about Daniel. You might have heard some things. A lot of miracles in Daniel. But let me tell you something. In the Bible study, God, God gets deep into it baby hallelujah so until next time be blessed walk in peace and in the love and mercy of god and remember stay connected to the vine hallelujah